you like to see your bridge? Where is it? Now follow me, I'll show you. Do you show, show Papa the flowers you brought him? Beautiful, baby. Those are beautiful. You can smell them. Lilac. From, these are lilacs, so these are for Grandpa and Grandma. But we need to bring them back soon. Thank you, baby. You can put them in Grandma's Welcome back, friends, to a beautiful, what is it, a Wednesday morning? Yep. We are going to be working on a new type of dam today. We got gates one, two, and three done, and we're going to be building something that we've never done before using an old-fashioned method that I found online. It's probably perfect right there, isn't it? Yeah. Once that equalizes, then we'll take this gate and, and block it off over here. Yep. If it equalizes. That's a lot of water. That might be from us, us barricading it, though. We've been irrigating for five solid days now, 24 hours a day, with the full amount going out of gates one, or gates two and three, and finally the upper side is saturated. We're gonna be going down there to build four. So we need to irrigate now. We don't have time to build this extensive gate system right now. So we're gonna do something temporary and see if that works. Gate number two is pretty well saturated. It's all the way down to the opposite end of the river, and we're ready to start irrigating that bottom field there. Problem is, obviously, we don't have the gates. So what we're gonna be doing right now is we'll stop flowing out of here, we'll pull gate number one, and we're gonna redirect the water down here. To flood this portion of the field, the previous owner basically just drove some T-posts in there and then put a piece of plywood up there to back it up to overflow the field. So we want to do something a little bit more permanent so that when we want to flood it, it's not such a process. But in the meantime, until we build those, back in the old days, this is how they did it. They would take a tarp, depending on the size of the ditch, but six by 10, somewhere around there. And they would take a, a four by four or two by four, lay it across the trench, and they would roll up the top of it and then lay it in here and then lay the tarp in and basically just create a tarp dam and a wall uh, and to, to get the water out of the ditch up over the bank. So we're gonna try that today. If we can start and have this irrigate for 24 hours with the tarp dam, then Jack and I can move down to the lower one and start building the permanent ones and not have to deal with all of the water. Those cows are very interested in the backhoe. They all came over to see. Do we have anything eight foot? I guess these would probably work. Working. So the way I saw it in the old book was they took their tarp get it too wet here but they basically go ahead and pull it out there to your side like a uh, stretch it tight yeah this is about the perfect size so they took it here like this Jack mm -hmm. and they rolled it onto this about three times I'd like to put a conduit or a culvert pipe in here at these four head gates, something like this here. I don't think this is big enough. This is six inch corrugated, but I did remember, I think I salvaged a piece from the old place that was 12. Let's 
So good news, guys. We had a couple pieces of culvert left over from the old place that are gonna be perfect for this. These might be too tall. Yeah, that might work. Wrap it three times, correct? Yeah, whatever you think it'll take to hold it. Flip it so it's up, mm -hmm. flip it like that. Okay. We'll put it in just like this here. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get clumps of dirt and some rocks and stuff like that, lay it down on top of this tarp so that we can get water inside the tarp and that water is no longer flowing underneath of it and then just going under a blockade. This will be temporary head gate number four. And the only water running through here is just what's slipping past our gate. So Jack is gonna slowly open the gate so we don't tear our tarp out. Hopefully it'll hold. It's probably perfect right there, isn't it? Yeah. Once that equalizes, then we'll take this gate and, and block it off over here. Yep. If it equalizes. That's a lot of water. That might be from us, us barricading it, though. All right. That is, that's a lot of pressure. That's raising at a prodigious rate. <laughs> that tarp is uh, tight as a fiddle string. Oh, got a hole. As soon as that hits that pipe jack, I think you could switch the gate and block off the other side. It's gonna get sealed up with pieces of mud. We have achieved our goal. We're kind of learning here as we're going. I thought for sure a 10 inch pipe would be enough to handle that. Uh, no way. We had uh, almost completely closed down the gate and we put a piece of one by and that seems to be about right. That's about what we can get through a 10 inch pipe right there. I guess the good side is, is there's so much water that we're irrigating up there too, so we can do two at once. Okay, so let's grade this out and then we'll get set up for the gate. And tent night on Friday, sound good to you? Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. I was just telling Jack, it was so sad when we first started irrigating, the water was marching across that upper field. It hadn't been irrigated for a long time, so there's no, so there were a lot of animals in there, field mice, little gophers and such. Typically, if you irrigate a field like this, I think there's no animals because the moment they try to get started, you know, you flood it and they get flooded out. But I was watching the water creep along going into their little holes and the little, poor little guys would come out, sticking their nose out and you see the water and their fur getting all wet until it hit their ears and then they would jump out and head off. I was thinking that would be a great opportunity for us, for an enterprising raptor bird to sit out there and just let the water push the food to it. <laughs> hey, better to be a field mouse than a mole in that situation. I'm sculpting the bank so when the grass returns, it'll look like a natural stream, more than a ditch ripped out with an excavator.
All right, friends. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. Jack and I are going to go relocate and get set up for the wood head gate at the bottom. So we'll let this run tonight and we might even take this same thing and, and move it down there to number two. And while that's flooding, we'll start building from the bottom up. So we're not going to work on it anymore today. Jack's got to do some homeschooling and uh, I've got to edit this video. So <laughs> summer schoolwork. We'll hit it, uh, hit it hard in the morning. So thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep our family in your prayers and we'll see you all in the next video. Where's your bridge? It's the next one. Follow me. Yep. Jump. 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 Can't is not in our vocabulary. Jump. Now look at me. That wasn't so bad, was it?